usually we get about 200 people each weekend to come and visit. But there's also viewing windows on the doors in the museum because we felt it's important that in New York City you can access something 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So if you're walking through the alley, you can still go and look into museum and call the audio guide and listen to the stories and enjoy it even if it's 3 in the morning. We have the shoe that was thrown at uh, ex-U.S. President George W. Bush when he was in Iraq. One of the two shoes. And down below we have Disney-themed children's bulletproof backpacks. A series of companies now in America can modify your child's backpack to be bulletproof and sales have been going through the roof um, in recent years. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the museum. There is a phone number that you can call it. My take on it is that it's a collection of found objects from the streets of New York. I really get that feeling, but it's curated beautifully, so it's, it has a sense that somebody really cared about these things that were lost or missing. It's sort of a puzzle, in a way. I'm trying to figure out how the different pieces come together. I, I mean, it's a lot of sort of old technology mixed with bizarre novelty food items and things like that. So really I'm just trying to figure out what the artist intended me to think.